Hey guys, so I just installed the Android 6.0 Marshmallow on my Galaxy S4. Uh, it looks really, really nice. And let me just zoom in here, show you that search bar. So this is a AOSP ROM, and I believe this is the only ROM available for the S4. But uh, yeah, I'm waiting for CyanogenMod Mod uh, 13, official build. So yeah, this is 6.0 Marshmallow. Uh, we will check out everything here uh, with this one um, we also have the uh, ROM available for the Galaxy S5 I also did a video review for that one you can also check that out on my channel so uh, as you can see here if I go into settings and if I go into about phone section you can see it's N or 6.0 Marshmallow. This is GDI9 T505. So it's really awesome. It's really awesome to get 6.0 Marshmallow. But then again, those of, for those people who don't really know what this is, this is a custom ROM. This is not the um, update from Samsung. So for in order to get this, you need to have root, have custom recovery. So uh, you can check my channel out or uh, you check the video down below in the description box for the tutorial on how to install it pretty easily so uh, I'm just gonna go into about phone this is 6.0 marshmallow and this is a AOSP ROM um, if we tap on build number a couple of times we get the developer option it also has the system UI tuner uh, so yeah that's uh, pretty awesome so I was using this ROM I was checking out um, and uh, for some few hours it seems like I haven't seen any bug or any crash or anything like that. Uh, it seems like everything works fine. Let's just quickly check out camera. You can see we got the cool permissions. Uh, I'm just going to click next here. Okay, so we can take pictures like this. Uh, you can see that it's still using the old Nexus uh camera UI. It's not the latest one that we have on Nexus 5X and the 6P. So uh, probably get this will get updated so uh, video mode here let's see okay okay so it's recording as you can see the time I can move my hand like this and let's just stop it and go ahead and see this video oops okay I'm not sure where it is but it recorded fine uh, you can also change the resolution so uh, you can see there's no crash in camera um, you can scroll here and there without any problem I, I didn't flash the Google Apps because I couldn't seem to find some some compatible G apps uh, but uh, I will leave the links uh, uh, in, the, in the tutorial video if I found some so yeah I just wanted to show you guys if this works or not so yeah it does work and um, and you can see it does have this root access and it says tap to install super su installer so um, I can install it using TWRP recovery or Play Store so I'm just gonna do it later so should you install this custom ROM or not I think for uh, for fun you can install it but I still say that you should not use it for as a daily driver because of course this is not stable uh, I haven't seen uh, like I said I haven't seen any issue or anything like that everything works fine um, but you might start to see some issues and uh, maybe in the future so I'm just gonna quickly connect to my Wi-Fi connection and we're just gonna check out browser uh, to see if we have any problem with that one or not just to want to show you guys I checked it by the way there's no problem um, for fun you can install it uh, and of course we don't have that much of awesome features okay let's try out any website uh, the good thing is definitely is that it's not having any crashes or anything like that so this means that you will see a lot of awesome 6.0 Marshmallow custom ROMs for this phone. You can see it's really, really smooth overall. So this is how it's uh, this multitasking looks like. Really, really smooth there. 
and uh, just going to go back here and if we slide like this you can close everything up so if I hold it like this oops if I double tap it nothing happens so if we check out settings and check out the the special things with this ROM so these are just a normal options we don't get theme engine or we don't get any uh, special ROM control or toolbox because this is a AOSP custom ROM it's very similar to a Nexus phone here so I have my Nexus 5X that I want to show you guys uh, I'm just gonna quickly unlock it and show you guys that it's very similar to this one so that's that so yeah it's just a really straightforward ROM uh, working absolutely fine you can uh, give it a try on your Nexus uh, on your Galaxy S4 so uh, for a tutorial video make sure you check out my channel uh, everything's working fine and be sure to follow that video everything up without any um, <clears throat> I'm missing any steps so, so that you don't get boot loop or anything like that uh, there's one thing uh, to show here which is this application which is called as toolbox now I'm just gonna quickly go uh, and click OK which says toolbox is a new device manager and and it's gonna give you some extra features okay so uh, <clears throat> like I said it's just a in in, in a development stages uh, we have some really limited options currently so uh, we got this led DeFi option uh, okay if I mess if I try to use this application it will mess it up so as you can see could not apply changes to you did you allow super users of course yeah it requires the root access so yeah you can mess up with the LED notification light that you used to do with your lollipop ROM you know you, we can change the LED light on the top of the phone so yeah you can do that stuff with this app but I'm not gonna do it because of course it's a really really early build of the ROM so hopefully we'll see more awesome things coming up for S4 future is bright if you are a proud owner of Galaxy S4 i9 505 then go ahead and install it follow my tutorial and i will see you uh, see you guys in the next one peace out